did you find this place? Oh, I'm Jonathan, and I was just mountain climbing with some dudes. <laughs> and heard this story about a spooky forest. <laughs> and who's not gonna go into a spooky forest, right? And then I see these goofy looking dudes on fire, and I just kind of follow them to this like amazing castle. You are there. Just me. I like to hit it alone. You meet so many awesome people in the youth hostels. Hey, speaking of awesome, that cape thing is killing it! What an all-star cast. How did you go about directing such huge personalities? Well, sometimes you gotta know when to sit back <laughs> and you gotta know when to speak up. And it's really, you know, they're such amazing comedians. They're very serious about it. And what they do is they they say a line, and we have, you know, producers and um, engineers in the room, and nobody laughs. And they'll keep saying the line, like, without well, even me having really to say anything most of the time, they'll keep saying it until the room laughs. And you can tell they're like tweaking the line and moving it around, and that was amazing to watch. So as a director, they're really directing themselves. It's like they can process what they say through their head and then know how to tweak the timing, tweak the flexion to get the right performance. I think once we got Adam Sandler, it wasn't too difficult to attract a lot of great top-notch talent. Um, you know, Adam's friends with Kevin James, David Spade, um, and then, you know, we got CeeLo Green, which was a big coup for us. That was awesome. Selena just wanted to do one of these movies, and she would wanted the opportunity to work with Adam, so that was great. So it was really easy. Once you start attracting some of the talent, other talent follows. Tell us about how you got brought on to this project. Dr. Luke um, was like, hey, there's this movie, Hotel Transylvania, and like he like broke down the story of how the movie goes and like the cast and who's gonna the, who's doing the voiceovers and stuff and I was just like yo this is really awesome and he's like yeah and I'm thinking we should do a remix to your song Problem and make it the monster remix and I was like and and does that mean it's gonna be in the movie and he's like yeah that's what that's what I'm saying and I was like oh my god let's do it what are you guys most excited about for the film well I am really excited about to see the scream cheese <laughs> yeah and I'm excited to see the dad vampire because he's all like, what? No. <laughs> Tell me, what makes Hotel Transylvania the go-to place for monsters to go and relax? Well, Hotel Transylvania is pretty remote and it's a place that monsters just inherently know how to get to. And, you know, once you get there, they can let down their hair. They don't have to worry about being chased by humans. They don't have to worry about their jobs. All their kids can come and have fun. And it's a place where there's something for everyone. I think it's safe from humans, of course, and it's a really fun environment, even though Dracula is a little over-controlling, but at least there's no pitchforks or tortures there from the humans. What do we have to look forward to with you coming up? What, what's next on your agenda? Um, well, I did a, um, Cody Simpson's last single, Wish You Were Here, and I'm featured on it. Um, then I did a music video with him, the song with Will I Am, the monster remix on Hold to Transylvania. I just finished doing um, the song Oath with Cheryl Lloyd. It's her next single. And we just finished shooting the music video for that, so I'm very busy with that. And just working on the album, in the studio, writing every day, and all that good stuff, so yeah. Busy girl, well thanks for talking to us. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. You want to see more hot exclusives? Click right here. Come on, you can do it.